My granny took me to church as a boy. My mom and dad did not go to church. And my granny had a burden to see our family saved. She took me. I was the oldest of five children in our family. And because I was the oldest, granny made sure I went to church. And uh, every time she went, I went. And my heart was touched by the truth from the Word of God on many occasions. By the way, the heart of young people are often affected by the Word of God. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's good. And we ought to preach the Word to them just as much as we are preaching to anybody else. Amen. As the pastor preached on this particular Sunday morning, my heart was deeply convicted that I should accept Jesus Christ as my Savior. However, unfortunately, I did not and said no to the Spirit of God. After the service, Granny took us home, and the next several weeks were spent in deep turmoil, deep conviction. I could not eat properly. I could not sleep properly. I was miserable. I would be in my room weeping, and did not know why I was weeping. Not only did I not understand it, but when we'd come to the dinner table, I couldn't eat then either. And my parents got rather upset with me for not eating. You know how parents urge children to eat at dinner time. And that's what they were doing for me. But I could not, I could not eat. They thought I would not eat, but it was really I could not. I was under deep conviction. Conviction was deep and strong in my heart. As a matter of fact, when I went to bed at night, I was afraid to close my eyes. I did not want to go to sleep. Yeah. I was afraid that God might take me out into eternity, and I knew I'd wake up in hell. Amen. By the way, Amen. if you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Amen. Savior, if you were to go to sleep and not wake up anymore in this life, you'd wake up in hell too. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But the reason we're having this meeting tonight is because we don't want you to wake up there. That's right. right. That's good. We want you to know Jesus as your Savior. Amen. Amen. I was afraid to close my eyes. I was under so much conviction. And I pray tonight again, if you're lost and undone without Jesus... I pray that in this meeting tonight you get under conviction. On this particular Sunday, Granny made sure that I was going to church that day. She insisted, no, I must tell you the truth. She demanded that I go to church with her that day. And so I slowly got dressed, hoping she'd leave and leave me behind. But she made sure that we were ready to leave on time to get to Sunday school. Thank God for the teaching of the Bible yeah. and those who do it. Can I tell you that when we got to the preaching that Sunday morning, I tried to sit way back in the back, but Granny made me come sit right by her. <laughs> And I knew what she'd be doing the whole time the preacher was preaching. My granny was a praying woman. If you've had a praying grandma, say amen. amen. Or a praying mom and daddy, say oh, amen. amen. And thank God for them, amen. amen. Listen, I knew that she was praying for me. And the preacher that day was preaching to me. Can you believe that? Yeah. I knew he had my number. I was so much under conviction. And when he asked us to stand for the invitation, I wanted to slip off to the restroom. But my feet wouldn't move. My legs wouldn't work. And as much as I wanted to slip out of that room, I could not do it. 
Beside me stood my granny praying for me. Yeah. Now she was praying out loud. Amen. Bless her, Lord. Amen. And in just a few moments, for some reason, I lifted my head. And when I did, my eyes locked eyes with the pastor that morning. And he looked right at me. And he says, it's time for you to come to Jesus. My heart was about to explode in my chest. But all of a sudden, my feet were moving. And my legs were working. My heart was pounding. I couldn't hardly breathe. But I made it somehow to that altar. Yeah. Amen. And knelt down to pray. Yeah. And the pastor that morning. Let us so country born in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And I've been saved ever since. Amen. And never been sorry that I've been saved. Amen. But I've been glad that Jesus come into my heart. Amen. Amen. And if Jesus is in your heart today, say amen. Amen. And let's thank God for salvation amen. in Jesus Christ. Praise God. God bless you. Amen. Oh.